One of the most important features in recruiting for any generation, but especially with uh, Gen Y, will be to have good data, real-time data. And uh, for anyone who's in business, uh, they know from inventory control and supply chain and uh, from the website how many people are viewing it and clicking through and, and how much profit they make or how many sales they make on a click-through. Um, but when it comes to recruiting, it uh, seems that uh, companies have put that by the wayside. But it's not difficult to create a good uh, database and at, the, at your fingertips, not having to wait till the end of the month or the end of a campaign, but literally on an everyday basis, or I'm not sure it's worthwhile to check on an every hour basis, but you'll be able to check on uh, where clients, where your candidates are coming from. So as an example, um, if we look at sources, uh, you'll be able to tell uh, where did the, did the candidate come from a a career builder or Indeed, you can see that this type of a job, how effective it is with Indeed. Um, re employee referrals are, are pretty good. Craigslist is interesting because some companies like it, some companies don't. It's very effective. Uh, we've seen literally the same job in adjoining counties have very, very different percent percentages where in this case Indeed was much more effective than Craigslist. Uh, we've seen where Craigslist was 50-50 with Indeed, and it's only 15 to 20 miles away for one location. Um, no other way to get this data other than track it, and again, this is available uh, at least once a day, every night it's updated with your, with your applicant base. Um, you can look at your company uh, website, uh, you, can, you can sort by, by specific jobs because it may differ by jobs and you can uh, create custom lists, or you should be able to create custom lists uh, with this particular system, you can do that. Uh, another opportunity on, on, on searching uh, is where is a candidate abandonment? Is your process too long? Uh, are people leaving at, your, at the view? Are they seeing the, uh, you can run an ad for visitor traffic, um, which says how many people viewed it, and then you can look at how many people actually completed it. In this case, individuals actually started it. So a few people, about 3%, left at the instruction stage. Uh, that's probably acceptable because maybe they read a little bit more and didn't want to spend the time. But you have about 30% that are leaving at the screening questions. So you might want to look at the screening questions, maybe reduce them by one or two. There is a magic number of, that have come across on surveys of how many questions you should ask ahead of time. And the number seems to be between uh, 5 and 15. Um, the average is about 10 to 12. If you ask more than, uh, you, you lose about 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 9. Um, if you ask uh, more than 12 questions, more than 15 questions, or up to 15 questions, uh, more than 15 questions, you tend to have about a 30% dropout. So it's very important to ask them what you need to know and not turn this into an, a completely automated process because there's got to be some personalization. Uh, so magic number of screening questions is about 5 to 15, but we might want to look at it here. Maybe we're asking, maybe they're asking too many. Uh, a number leave at the employment stage. They, for some reason, they didn't want to fill out the blank, so maybe you want to do a resume instead of uh, having to fill out the application. You also want to make sure that the application is mobile ready. Uh, and then uh, you can see that a number leave at the sources, which actually happens to be uh, uh, an effect of Indeed Mobile. Uh, more than 50% of applicants are applying on the mobile application of Indeed, and mob uh, Indeed to protect their data does not push that out. So that's actually an anomaly, um, but uh, if it was higher than that, I'd want to investigate it because that's pretty typical. And uh, uh, about 4% complete the application, but don't. Um, so again, at a glance, you can figure out um, not only where people are coming from, how people started, how many people uh, abandoned the process, where they abandoned the process. Um, that's going to be critical if you're going to get more qualified applications, not scare people away, uh, and to be able to uh, get the best bang for your buck.